here we go. Bobby Rule, he and I played Babe Ruth League baseball together for the Kiwanis team. Mike Newhouse isn't at the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. He's standing by an exact half-scale replica in South Sioux City. Still, the names etched in the granite carry the same weight for Newhouse, who remembers when the D.C. version was installed. They were showing footage of the dedication, and a camera was scanning across the wall and stopped. And it stopped on that name. And that's how I found out that Bobby had died in Vietnam. Newhouse is an Air Force veteran and president of Siouxland Freedom Park Incorporated. The group is transforming what was wilderness near the Missouri River into a 55-acre park dedicated to the contributions of veterans. The wall was dedicated in 2014. This has had a deep, deep effect on not only Vietnam veterans, but others as well. And a lot of people will never have a chance to go to D.C. to visit the wall on the mall. This may be the next best thing. And the organizers are just getting started. The exterior of a 5,000 square foot interpretive center was finished in 2018. Now they're fundraising to finish the interior. Newhouse says his best day will be when school buses pull up for tours. And they get a real, true, face-to-face -face experience representing what veterans have done and what they continue to do. The group is halfway towards its $330,000 fundraising goal. The finished interior will include exhibits and memorabilia. Newhouse says the most important amenity is a kiosk in which veterans can record their stories. Unless those stories are recorded and those experiences can be relived, they'll be lost forever and they're too valuable to have that happen. He hopes the stories told through the kiosk are as powerful as the ones behind the names on the wall. Just turn and look into the wall, and that polished black granite reflects you. And when you stand here and look, you see yourself. And each one of these names is a story untold. And that's the power of this memorial. In South Sioux City, Michael Shively, News Channel, Nebraska.